this is it. Went on and slapped some stickers on it. And this is the old piece of box I made from scrap wood. I know you're looking. Oh man, what happened here? Nothing. I actually still have enough room in here. Well, if I loosen this up, I could push this back and, and seal it. But um, I wanted to have a little bit of room because it just felt a little too tight. You know, I wasn't comfortable with it. That was a lot. And also, I guess I could put a gasket around it, but eh, doesn't really matter. Because I want to be able to access the bottom plates so that I can measure the voltages. Have all the voltages logged. Um, battery is 100% charged. It's resting at a uh, 13.7, I believe it is. Um, I did um, studs from the bottom side up. Um, just impacted, you know, I pre-drilled and um, countersunk, then impacted the rod through, and then I actually used some epoxy on the back side. Don't really know if that's good or bad, but if it's bad, I can always come back in the future and change it. But yeah, this is it. This rubber strap right here is to keep the battery from jiggling and moving around. I plan on mounting it from the bottom or the side into the box and then using this strap to keep it secure. Um, should have a good 400 amps continuous with no issues here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I know you're probably looking. Let me see if I can. There we go. Now the bus bars are straight for those high level OCD people. Well, I know for a fact I want to take this screw over to here to make it parallel as I possibly could. But at this point, I'm like, ah, I'm just happy I got a bank. But my bars are a little off because, of course, I didn't have a drill press. So I couldn't stack everything up and drill perfectly through or mark everything out perfectly and drill through. Um, using hand tools, you know, I don't care how steady your hand is eventually it's going to want to walk a little bit or you're going to have a little bit of play but um my bottom plates are perfect um as far as the holes the top plate is a little off but all the cells lined up perfectly nothing is being stressed um i'm just i'm happy so we're gonna see what happens stay tuned for the next video and i appreciate y'all tuning in and the positive comments and everything so and then this is just off the subject I mean <laughs> kind of laugh at it like damn well, what's going on uh, I feel safe and confident this right here is just because I was shopping at uh, Menards and man ten dollars excellent and it's definitely made by a reputable company um, that should tell you all right there. It's uh, made for electrical and marine, so I don't I have to worry about the tank rusting or getting messed up, which I'm not gonna be near salt water anyway, but it's a dry chemical. It's just something definitely we should have on us. Um, comes with a little, nice little nifty little strap. We just pop it free like that and um, it's ready to rock and roll. So. Yeah, I can't wait to install this thing and do some testing. Like I said, I'm going to do before and after. I'm going to pull my SMS 220 and replace it with this. And if all goes well, I might pull my XS as well. But I kind of want to keep some AGM back there with this. That's it. Keep some bass.